Welcome back, Acadiana. Shalonda Tebow joining us now, lead recruiter with United Methodist Foster Care. Shalonda, welcome. Thank you. Tell us about United Methodist Foster Care um, and therapeutic foster care in particular, because that is what your focus is on. So what does that mean? So therapeutic foster care is we still get children that come into foster care from the Department of Children and Family Services, but with the therapeutic side of it is children come with some type of disability or diagnosis. Um, so we have a lack of those type of homes in this area. So we're really trying to push it and just people that are willing to open up their hearts, open up their homes, want to provide care for children that's in foster care. This is a perfect opportunity for them. And as far as training goes for these types of foster parents, does that training look any different? It is. It's more extensive training that we do regular um, outside of the regular foster parents. Mm -hmm. But um, we provide all of those trainings ourselves, yes, during the whole process of them becoming a therapeutic foster parent, yes. And I'm not sure if you know any numbers off the top of your head, but are there a, a good number of children in need of homes right now in this area? Definitely. Um, it's more than the last time we looked, it was a little over 2,000 yeah. um, children in foster care. And so, like I said, we just really need foster homes for these children. Mm -hmm. We do. We have different requirements, the therapeutic side um, versus the regular ones. Like for mm -hmm. us, we have they have to have some type of high school diploma or GED. They have to be um, married or single. They can't be cohabitating. Mm -hmm. And then they have to have two years experience of working with whether um, it's adults or children in that special need pop population. So United yes. Methodist Foster Care, anyone interested in maybe um, opening up their home, becoming a foster parent, that is RecruitFosterCare.com. It is. RecruitFosterCare.com. Yes. That is how you can learn more about becoming a potential foster parent.